Breakthrough discovery in Corvallis, it could provide a therapy for people with Lou Gehrig's disease. Yeah, as KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause shows us, researchers at Oregon State have teamed up with scientists from around the globe, finding a potential cure for the fatal illness. In this disease, these motor neurons start to die one after another until you cannot move a single muscle in your body. A disease scientists have been working on for decades, trying to come up with some sort of cure. ALS is known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or also as Lou Gehrig's disease. A fatal disease that's currently untreatable. But that might change with the help of research being done at OSU. We're gonna make the compound. A compound called copper ATSM. A compound that scientists say is already extending the lifespan of mice with the disease. We can take a human gene that causes ALS, put it in a mouse, and those mice develop ALS after four months. What we have right here is the copper solution that we're going to add. It's one of the easiest ones to make, which is pretty cool that we're not talking about an expensive biologic product that will cost $100,000. This could be done very inexpensively. We're going to break up that tissue. And a way to test the drug. So this is a mouse spinal cord from a disease-impacted model. And see how it helps measure mutated proteins in the spinal cord. Put our micro column in line so we can show um, the impact of the drug relative to control animals. A promising discovery that could help save thousands of lives. It's really exciting. Uh, it's to actually be able to offer hope. But at the same time, scientists say so far they've only worked with mice and rats. We have a lot of hope, but we have to also be patient and understand it may not work. A hopeful drug that could make a difference, but the discovery is just the first step in a complicated research process. There are a lot of people that are dying a horrible death and they're desperate to try it. And the ethics of this are very complex. And what I do not want to do is to give a drug that's going to make them sicker or die more rapidly. The next step is to try to formulate a drug, but to also make sure that it's safe. If it does work, we also want to know what are the complications. So actually, I'm a little terrified of what this involves for the next couple of years. An exciting time for researchers who say they hope the therapy could also help those with Parkinson's disease. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI, 9 News.